So myself is Arsha and Kumar. So I was doing biomolecules chapter. So in the previous video, we have learned the, how to write the cyclic structure of a glucose. Okay. So in this video, we are going to learn how to draw the over structure of glucose. Okay. Let's start this chapter. Come on. So here, very simple concept here. This is the open chain structure of glucose. So this is the open chain structure. So how we got this structure means. See, you can check my previous video to know how to write the uh, open chain structure and also the cyclic structure. Okay, so this is the open chain structure and this is the cyclic structure. Okay, so this is given by Emil Fischer. So this is given by what? Whom? Emil Fischer. Okay, so one more thing you should very much remember that there are two functional groups here one will be the aldehyde group so one will be what aldehyde group the second one will be a oh group so oh group alcohol group see here i am going to add few more stuffs here in this uh content here so i am going to take one example here r bond c double bond o bond h okay this is a aldehyde group Okay, when this RDA reacts with any alcohol or bond OH. So what is going to happen here? As we know that here the lone pair of electrons will be there. So this one will be partially positive charge and this one will be a partially negative charge. This oxygen will go and attack the carbon. To balance this double bond will be converted into single bond. Okay, so listen carefully now. So R bond C. R bond C. So single bond oxygen. So double bond will be converted into what? Single bond. So single bond oxygen. So this oxygen is accepting. So that's why I have denoted oxygen negative charge. This is hydrogen will remain same here. Okay, so this oxygen and bond R bond OH. So R bond O bond H. R bond O bond H. So oxygen valence will be 3. So here the positive charge will come. Okay. So now children listen carefully. Listen carefully. To maintain the neutrality this hydrogen. So this hydrogen it is going to forms a bond between oxygen. Which hydrogen? This hydrogen. So this hydrogen I have taken here, okay, here it is going to form a bond, clear, can I write like, can I write this structure as like this, R bond, C bond, OH, bond H, bond OR, same structure, okay, instead of O bond or I have written like this, same structure, this formation, Okay, this compound is called as amyacetal. Amyacetal. Always remember, amyacetal are having a reducing character. It can reduce other substances. Okay, very simple, very simple. Nothing is there. Okay, due to formation of amyacetal, because of this, this cyclic ring has been formed. See here, RDA group is there and alcohol group is there. It has formed amyacetal. Simple here. Here RDA group is there. So here there are five OH groups are there. So alcohol group is there. So that is the reason it is going to form amyacetal formation. Okay. So just remember this one. Amyacetal general molecular formula. R bond C bond H bond OH bond OR. So why I am going to explain this one. You will come to know later okay so we need to check whether ma acetal group is there or not okay so let me write the ma acetal general molecular formula here so r bond c bond oh bond h bond o r so i have taken r dash here so let me put r dash 
R dash. Not a problem. Problem. Okay. So this is it. Amy acetal. So this concept you are going to learn in the aldehyde ketones and carboxylic acid chapter. Okay. Clear. Because of aldehyde and because of alcohol, Amy acetal is going to form. Because of aldehyde and because of alcohol, Amy acetal is has been formed. How? I am going to explain it now. In my previous video, I have explained very clearly, very clearly that why the fifth carbon OH group is activated because it is exact. I mean, uh, six carbon atoms ring structure is going to form. It is most stable compared to four, or compared to five, or compared to three, compared to two. Clear? Very simple here. Okay. Two is not there. Sorry. Okay. So. Now, this structure, cyclic structure is given by Emil Fischer. Okay. So, similarly, one more structure is there. It is very, very important. So, usually, the students will buy at it. That is not the good scenario. Okay. So, very simple trick. Already, in my previous videos, I just taught you a simple code word, uh, code word that is the formula will be 1011. Okay. To write the both structures so I am going to write the Howard structure what is that Howard structure so just count here so one two three four five six so six member ring so always we will remember six member ring is cyclohexane benzene okay one two three four five six correct six member ring Okay, I am going to write the six member ring. Let me write like this. Okay, so what is the writing here? Over structure. Over. Over structure. Of what? Glucose. Over structure of glucose. Okay, so laser. This is a six member ring. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So in instead of one carbon atom out of six, one carbon atom, so one oxygen will be there. So I am going to take, remove this carbon atom, and I am going to introduce what oxygen. Very simple, right? So these points are indicates what. Carbon. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I am going to start with the numbering. So here, this is one, this is two, and this is three, and this is four, and this is five. But how many carbon atoms are there in the glucose? Six carbon atoms. Okay. So listen carefully. This CH two OH is a bulkier group. Okay. Compared to the hydrogen and compared to the OH group, for the fifth carbon atom, CH two OH is there. For the fifth carbon atom, CH2OH is there. So where is the fifth carbon atom? So here is the fifth carbon atom. So I am going to add CH2OH. CH2OH. Okay. So this one will be what? Six. On sixth carbon. Okay. Very simple. Simple. So I am going to put here bond. Bond. As we know that this is a carbon, so carbon valence will be four. So one, two, three, four. So here this is a carbon one, two, three, four. So this is a carbon one, two, three, four. So this is a carbon one, two, three, four. That's it. Okay. Now, so one carbon. Okay. This is left side and this is right side. Okay, so left, left, always we are going to write at the top. Okay, so right side. So right side means what here, this part. Okay, always it will be on the what? Down or below. Okay, so let me write. So carbon one. So we this is the carbon one. So 
left one what is there carbon one left what is there hydrogen is there so left means top so hydrogen so this one will become oh simple second carbon atom okay two so left side hydrogen is there left hydrogen means what top so hydrogen so what is in the right hand side oh right below oh simple third carbon atom oh h oh will be on the left so left means what top so oh and this one will be hydrogen fourth one h will be on the what top okay so in the fourth carbon oh will be on the right hand side so below oh Fifth carbon atom, fifth carbon atom, CH2OH is there and hydrogen is there. Already we have written the CH2OH, the remaining will be what? Hydrogen, we are going to write below here. So this is our structure of glucose. Sir, I understood, sir. So how to write, sir? Then uh, in the examination, we need to learn this structure. Yes, of course, you need to learn th this structure only, but by chance. If you forget, if you forget to write this structure, but you will be remembering this formula 1011. 1011 is applicable to what? D glucose structure. 1011 is also applicable to the what? Cyclic structure, which is given by ML Fisher. What is this 1011? Check my previous videos. Yes, this is applicable here. This is applicable here. And also, this is applicable here also. Okay, how to write this one? So listen carefully, very very simple trick. Okay, so this is the first part. You can write like this, what I have told you. Or if you want to write the structure, okay. So as soon as possible means, perfect you can write it means, very simple thing here. Okay, so how to write here? See here. So, yeah, 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 yes. Okay, same structure. Okay, now you don't see this one. Just concentrate here. Okay, I am going to apply this formula. So, always remember, remember, remember here. Oxygen left. First you put bonds. So, oxygen left. CH2OH above will be there. Put hydrogen. That's it. Now, how this formula is going to work in the over structure of glucose? What is the formula? 1011. 1011. So start from left here. I mean start from fourth carbon. Okay. If you feel this part by comparing this one, if you feel difficult means directly you can write the over structure by using this formula. So how to write? So I have written cyclic structure, oxygen next, CH2OH. Okay. So now apply this formula 1011. One, one indicates what? Hydrogen. O, uh, zero indicates what? OH group. Okay, so start from the left. 1011. 1 0 1 1. That's it. 1 0 1 1. Don't see the structure now. Okay, so if H is the means OH, if OH is the means H, if H is the means OH, if H is the means OH. That's it. This is the first method. I will just check the cyclic structure of glucose and I drew the what? Over structure of glucose. The second method, I wrote the over structure of glucose by knowing this formula. So this one will be very very easy. Okay. So now we compare. The structure will show similar not. O, CH2OHH. O, CH2OHH. This is correct. HOH. HOH correct OHH OHH correct HOH HOH correct HOH that's it very simple so 1011 can we apply to the to write the straight chain structure and also the cyclic structure which is given by Emil Fisher and it is also be applicable to the what our structure of glucose so this is our structure of glucose same same only Okay, 
clear okay the very simple trick very simple trick okay fine 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 now focus on the anomeric carbon okay anomeric carbon so let me erase this one one is required uh, this one is more than sufficient okay so yeah just focus on the carbon one okay this carbon i am going to write here correct so this carbon is bonded to hydrogen okay this carbon the same carbon is bonded to oh correct so this is again straight chain i am going to call this as a r okay alkyl group so i mean r i am going to consider it okay so one two three the fourth one yes it is bonded to oxygen oxygen is bonded to what again cyclic structure so i am going to put r so let me take consider as a or dash o it is bonded to what r dash now concentrate here c okay is having a four valency okay so one it is bonded to alkyl group r r is there correct for the same carbon atom oh is there yes oh is there for the same carbon atom hydrogen is there yes hydrogen is there for the same carbon atom o r dash is there for the same carbon atom o r dash is there yes then this is me acetal okay so this one is what me acetal group so this carbon one contains what me acetal if any substance or a molecule which contains me acetal group then it acts as a reducing agent okay it can reduce the other substances so that is the reason where a glucose contains me acetal group so it will be just put into the category called as reducing sugars okay you may get the question why glucose is considered as a reducing sugar yes because a glucose a contains me acetal group okay remember 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 me acetal is a having a reducing character okay so here also we can find the me acetal group how sir so carbon 1 is there so hydrogen yes carbon hydrogen for the same carbon oh yes for the same carbon oh for the same carbon r group are there so for the same carbon r group are there for the same carbon o r group are there so o r group r r dash group are there so here also me acetal is there clear so this class you are you have learned successfully how to write the over structure of glucose nothing is there only thing don't buy it first of all you don't buy at the what usually 90% of the students will buy art how to write the over structure of glucose ah, chow, 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 chow. they will get confused like this you should not know they will get confused okay so this is the best method you can write the by using a formula 1011 don't write the second structure if you want to write the over structure directly you follow this method 1011 okay so this 1011 is only applicable to what glucose it is not going to applicable for galactose, fructose, sucrose. For every for every <coughs> carbohydrates, there will be a uh, formula. I am going to teach in my coming videos. Okay, so hope you have understood a complete picture how to write the Howard structure of glucose and what is the function of acetal. Okay, acetal is means it is can reduce other substances. So that's why this glucose will come under as a reducing sugar okay fine so just meet you in the next video you will learn each and every steps okay fine thank you take care